Oh, back to who? Yeah! <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be doing a build renovation of one of the builds in Werewolves. Uh, these builds were actually done by James Turner. And a few of you guys have been requesting me to renovate one of James's builds and then get James to come in and ask film his reactions. So at the end of this renovation, we're going to ask James to pop by and uh, see what he thinks. So the one I've had my eye on, which I think already a few people have probably renovated, just because it's clearly asking for a renovation and some creativity from players, is this Moonwood Mill Library. And this was a really, uh, really awesome build because it's like an old broken down factory and I think it just looks really, really awesome. Uh, I'm actually really looking forward to turning this into something else. And what I was thinking was, why don't we turn this into maybe an actual home? I mean, we, we can do two things. We can turn it into a home or we can keep it as a community lot. I want to do a house, you guys. I want to do a house. Alrighty, so let's change this to residential. I And if you guys have watched my videos before, y'all know me. I love industrial builds. I love industrial architecture. It's probably my favorite thing. So this is right up my alley. Speaking of alleys, I really love bowling alleys. Like, I really like bowling. <laughs> and I know it's kind of random, but bowling is a good time. I don't know why I felt like I needed to talk about bowling right now. I'll say the game is so dark. Like I'm not used to my lighting. Ooh, we could maybe keep this and make a little like cut out balcony here. That would be cool, would it not? Or is that just weird? Okay, maybe we'll maybe do something like this and actually keep that little bit not aligned. I feel like that'll annoy a lot of people, but I actually think really good. Oh, I know why it's so dark. It's so dark because it's an open build. <laughs> Oh, well, that makes a lot of sense. Well, how about we fix up this roof, shall we? And if this is confusing you, this this is a little bit tricky what James has done here, but it's because he's extended this roof line really quite a long way. So what we actually will need to do is pull this back just like that to actually enclose the space. Because um, I know initially looking at that, you might be like, wait, what? Where's the ceiling? What is happening? I don't get what this is, but we'll leave it. Love this up here. We're going to turn that into some kind of cool rooftop garden, no doubt. Uh, and yeah, the lighting should be fixed in here now. Um, we might get rid of most of the furniture, I think, because we're just going to go on limited budget and we'll put whatever we want in here. So this is all going to be tossed. Oh, actually, we better keep those lights. And you know, I guess we could say this is an old library that someone has or that maybe lost its funding and so somebody privately bought it and said, you know what, I'm gonna turn this into a house. Ooh, another really cool thing would be to turn this into apartments or a couple of houses. I so badly wish we could build our own apartment buildings. Like, I wonder if any point in The Sims 4 they'll actually enable us to do that. Because sometimes I have trouble remembering things from The Sims 3, but we could make our own apartments, couldn't we? Could we? Struggling to remember now. Or maybe it was Sims 2 you could. I don't know, one of them you're able to. Now, I always like to put in some of these beautiful downlights. These downlights, they save lives, okay? That's how much of a difference they make to builds because they, they emit so much lighting to your game. Okay, so we got that, we got that. Um, this could be turned into a lap pool, I'm thinking. Like, this is meant to be an old drain or sewer, whatever you would like to call it. But we could, you know, you know, we could fill this in, turn it into a pool area, just like that. Although it's a bit sad because it does mean we lose such a beautiful, like, industrial piece of architecture. So we could go like this maybe, and I love how there's a chair down there. I don't know, these could be sunken. What would you put down there? Oh, what we could do is lift it upwards and turn it into like a sunken living area. Huh? Um, so you still get that nice gap and you can kind of, like, I don't know, in real life that could be really problematic and look really, really gross um and have rodents and stuff i feel like in the sims it looks good so we'll leave it uh and then down here we could do another one i just think james would love to see 
these little details kept within the build. I think you would find that pretty cool. As much as this telescope is interesting, should we? Yeah, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Okay, now this is the hard part, all right? We need to figure out the floor plan. Uh, this is always tricky when it comes to renovating, especially an old factory. Sure, lunch me stink. I feel like my face cam's too big. You guys feel that? Like, I know I'm ridiculously good looking, but I feel like this could be smaller. Like, how's this size? Is this too small? I don't know. Just let me know in the comments down below. Comment right now. How big should the head be? And now I feel too small. <laughs> also, has anyone been watching uh, the Miss Marvel show? Because it's really quite good. Now, in terms of the doors and windows from this pack, uh, a lot of them are open, which I don't think you'd want on or in a real life home. So we'll probably want to change some of these windows to enclosed. Some of the doors look a little bit more fixed up. I quite like the, the yellow or the painted doors. I don't mind that at all. But what I'll do is probably replace a few of these broken windows, as cool as they are. It's really amazing when you see um, historic buildings and their features restored. Like I'm talking about real life. Shows like Grand Design sometimes show that and it's like, whoa, that's so cool that people are able to make, you know, an old stained glass window. They, they're able to repaint it again to make it look just as as good as it used to. You know, I haven't used this e this EcoCraft base game wood for a long time. I actually have a theory that the yellowy, browny woods like this, the kind of orangey tones are gonna come back into style. I've been keeping an eye out on a lot of, you know, architecture and design magazines, and I'm just thinking like, mm, those mid-century colors are coming in real hard at the moment. I'm still upset that this industrial kit door doesn't have a closed version. So if this is the entrance, what would make sense right here is a lounge. Let's just throw down some couches. And always, as always, keep in mind that this is not going to be the final furniture we pick. This is our placement furniture to make sure that everything fits in as we design our floor plan. This is the most effective way, I think, to furnish in The Sims 4. It's a luxury you usually wouldn't have in real life. And it would be lovely to have a fireplace. This get-together fireplace I've literally been using for years and never getting never getting sick of it. It never gets old. All right, so that's our quite enormous living area. It probably would make sense to push this across a little bit and make use of the other space as well. We could put a little bathroom in here, actually. Uh, that's possible. And to keep realistic, I'm going to try and keep the brick walls and mark our newer walls as white. We'll see if I can manage that without overpainting them and forgetting which ones are which. Another thing I really like on old buildings that have been restored is when the brick work that is newer than the original, there's like slight differences. I think it annoys some people, but personally I find it like really interesting where you can kind of see where the old is and the new is. So I'm actually gonna, you know, patch these walls not with the matching brick. And I really like that little bit of detail. You know, we could probably do the same in here. And I'm not really sure if I messed this up, but that didn't have any wallpaper on it. So I'm just gonna put that there. Same in here. Very cool. How cool does that look? It's like same, same, but different. James will probably be like, why did you put the wrong wallpaper in? <laughs> So I have a little bathroom, lounge room, now kitchen, kitchen. Well, I think right here, there should be a nice big door. I mean, I would probably put this one, but one side of it's blue. I think eco lifestyle will honestly probably fit the best. Um, so this could be dining kitchen. I really like these though. I was thinking it'd be really cool to have a kitchen in here looking into the dining room. <laughs> I mean, maybe we should run with that. I mean, that is kind of, as long as we get enough light in here, I think it'll look good. I think we'll expand this just a touch. Uh, for this little roofing from expanding the room, I might just add like a platform type of deal here. Um, so it kind of looks like a little cube sticking out. There we go. That's pretty cool. The old versus the new. Love that. 
Okay, now I'm not sure about this idea of having the dining room here and the kitchen here, because now I've just realized that's going to be really annoying because you have to walk out and around the dining room, not straight through. One of my ideas is to remove just one portion of this so you can kind of walk through here. Or we could open this up with this. Huh? Huh? That's kind of cool, you know? Yeah, I think that can work. And then we can have kitchen here. Part of me is really leaning towards doing like super light woods, which I'm like, should I? Should I go to these lengths? I just think the contrast is really cool with the really dark walls. Um, it's quite a bold move though. Because they would have had to put new flooring in because the flooring here was all metal. I mean, that's what I would imagine anyway. And would they repaint the stairs? They could repaint. I mean, green would be pretty sick. I think the kitchen would actually need to be expanded to here. Just because this shape is a little irregular and difficult to work with. This will just open the kitchen up a lot. Holy moly, this kitchen is huge. I was hoping this snow escape window would fit just in between the cupboards and the bench top i think it does i mean do i want to do the same thing over here and just have yeah, it's starting to look a little strange maybe we just do that like have just one gap with a big window here to let in a lot of light we can always do narrow windows here as well maybe this eco one I, I like the eco one the only thing is it it does stick out a bit which isn't always ideal but it looks pretty good here. So I think we can get away with it. Just having a look to see what it would look like with a charcoal kitchen instead of doing all the light colors. I personally prefer the light colors, but it's sometimes good to go out of our comfort zone. But do I feel like going out of my comfort zone today? I don't. <laughs> but I don't mind meeting halfway. I, I feel like some of the black cupboards do work with a black feature wall. And maybe we can put these in. Maybe we can change the windows to the university uh, ones here because that would mean they're a little bit more seamless, I, su I suppose. Yeah, that looks all right. Okay, so we've kind of got the kitchen, kind of got the dining. As long as we can get the basics down, folks, everything's going to be okay. Okay, laundry, kitchen, uh, bathroom. So then when you go upstairs, it's pretty epic because then you look down onto this big um, lounge area. Uh-oh, and we're looking into the toilet. Oh, no. Well, we can always make this a little bit smaller because this is essentially will be just like a powder room, so that's fine. Although I prefer the door this way. I don't know how I'm going to treat these walls, like if we leave them just white or, and just embrace the contrast. Or I probably would say that going like more of a concrete cement color would be a little bit nicer. So up here, I reckon we would just have interesting bits and bobs like bookshelves and stuff like that. Um, essentially like library corners. And then I mean, you'd have this area, which is essentially like a little outdoor area. Um, maybe we'll put some grass up here. I mean, it could be like a little greenhouse type of deal. This door's annoying me that it doesn't fully close. So I'm going to put a fully shut one here. I feel all the rain would just go down here. So yeah, we'll definitely keep this as like planting room maybe. But then what's the point of like, what are we meant to put up here? I suppose an office could be cool. Um, it could be very loud in real life, <laughs> you know? I mean, I feel like ideally you would have to kind of close off the office like this. We don't have to do this in The Sims, so but like I said, it's really about how realistic you want to be. I would sell my soul to get a matching door to these windows from Get Famous. I would sell my soul. No, I would never do that, except for these windows. <laughs> They're just so cool. So yeah, this is our office space. Over here is going to be like a greenhouse, uh, which then would make sense to have a bedroom here. This could also have a bedroom in this section. And this could be a hallway. A um, little bit sad to kind of seal this in, but I think we kind of have to. Good thing is we can leave the columns there, though. Could definitely whack a bedroom here. Might get a bit cold with the open window, though. So bedroom in there, you'd probably like to have a bathroom close by. Could do a little bathroom here. The light in. And down here, I mean, it looks like you could add a couple of bedrooms for sure. 
I mean, this could actually be more of a master bedroom. Mm, you know what? This bedroom and this bedroom can share this bathroom. I think the secret to making industrial homes look really, really good is when you juxtapose the harshness of the industrial aesthetic with like lots of greenery and gardens and nature. And then it just kind of ends up balancing out and looking really quite beautiful. So I'm just putting in a few like things in the garden to, you know, make it look a little more softer or at least to soften the harshness of the whole thing. Oh my gosh, so we just got back from Sydney and I was so excited to come back to my garden because I have like, oh yeah, we should use some of these. I have three vegetable boxes and lettuce at the moment is so expensive. I think it's like there's a shortage globally, isn't there? It's like so expensive in Australia right now. And we had so much lettuce to harvest, so we're really, really lucky. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend growing your own lettuce. It, it grows quite easily here in Australia. Love these purple trees. Why don't I use these more? Sometimes you can make things look much nicer when you size down half the plants and then size up the other ones. So there's just like, looks a little bit more realistic. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I want to live here. I think I'll keep the yellow staircase because it is kind of iconic. And I don't know, it's kind of a shame to change that really awesome and usually more unusual color in builds for me at least. And also all the windows match it as well, which we love. I'm not even really sure what the style of interior is. Like I, I think we'll just continue a lot of the industrial theme. These eco lounges really, I just can't stop using them. If you don't have eco lifestyle and you're looking for a pack to do a lot of building with, uh, I would recommend because I feel like I use it all the time. Or since I do use this all the time, we could switch to a more modular couch. So we could do this kind of look and feel, you know, with the just the plain black couches. It's just not as nice though. Like it's not very warm. And it's a really hard balance to get between the, uh, the industrial and the uh, softer elements. I don't know. Maybe we'll just go for something like this. I was also struggling a little bit with rugs because we don't have, I mean, ideally I like a square rug in this orientation under a square coffee table. I don't know. I just think that looks really good. So, because we're a little bit limited with square rugs, now I'm wondering if maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe I break my little rule. Could be nice to use the new werewolves rugs, actually. Oh, what happens if I size this up? Yes. Could look good, maybe? I mean, that's pretty nice. Ooh, the green. I am in a little bit of a green mood today. It's nice too. This dang yellow staircase is actually really throwing me off because I feel like it is a lot harder to pick what furniture can go with the rest of the room. I mean, blue and yellow always are going to kind of work. Uh, maybe I've gone a little bit too far with this kind of bluey wall because we could, we could go more grays down here. Yeah, let's do the wall patches with more of a gray color. Love the blue, but it is gonna make it even harder with the staircase. Also, yellow and gray used to be my favorite color combo. Ah, still not sure about this rug. It's gonna take us 10 years to pick a dang rug. Oh, I forgot about this square one. It is very intensely geometric. I think I'll just go with this and add greenery around it. Opt for neutral, I think, when in doubt. We could put a TV up here, but then we have to delete the window. We could move the window. Oh, is that cheating? What I might do is have no TV here. And if you guys want to download this build, you can make the call to delete this and add a TV in. But yeah, shotgun not being that person to do that, to make that decision. <laughs> now, this wasn't here originally, but I do like the idea of a painted garage door. Um, but I suppose it doesn't really make sense when it goes halfway into another wall. Like you'd have to have it somewhere that goes outside. Maybe it can go in the master bedroom. Oh, I love these paintings here. Oh, do I want them under the staircase or in the corner? I think we can put them in the corner and then also have, well, also have something on the wall behind it. Nice. I used to live in a converted building that used to be like filming studios the place that had exposed brick walls and they had these stage lights and I just thought it went really, really quite nicely with the whole industrial theme. So I often 
now use them in my Sims builds. Now that we do have a few more things to work off of, I think we can work with the green rug. These industrial shelving things, these came from Batu pack. Surprising, sometimes Batu does have a few good pieces to use. And I think I'm gonna manually lift them up with the nine key and place them on here. Some books up there. Okay, this is asking for another artwork. The bricks are kind of an artwork in themselves. Whoa, that's very yellow. Maybe, maybe that one. Okay, that is actually a pretty cool um, space. I'm actually quite happy with that. Like, yeah, it's definitely a bit of a mishmash of things, but it, it works. It comes together somehow. Okay, I feel like the table really doesn't go with the room. Maybe something very plain like this one. Well, there's this like toddler pack we had recently. Or the outdoor cinema kids pack. Oh, that's kind of cool. I think I prefer this. Well, it's certainly rustic. Compared to the rest of the house that we've done so far, the kitchen is really sleek and modern. Like, I feel like the other rooms are really like, woo, <laughs> lots of lost and found and plants and all of that. Whereas this is like sleek, fancy kitchen. So I, I reckon it would be good to maybe add a few things that join the other rooms into this room. So, for example, we could have some mismatched interesting bar stools. Actually, what would probably work better is just some metal bar stools. We could make this yellow. Let's change this to red and do a bit of a green wall. Okay, I think that maybe softens it a little bit. We could go orange. Oh, not the orange. Oh, just back to the yellow. Uh, I like that it ties in with the other room. Okie dokie. I do like the idea of this mural being in the main bedroom. It's just really cool. And the nice thing about that is everything else in the room can be quite simple because that's going to be the focus of the room. I've never really used these wardrobes. They're kind of industrial looking. Actually, they're very industrial looking. They're pretty cool. Sometimes it looks like there's so much room at the end of the bed if your bedroom is quite elongated. So I like to fill in the space by just putting a little ottoman in. Actually, maybe let's go into these. That's really cool bedroom. Looking a little plain up here, so I'm just gonna make it look like there's a picture leaning against the wall. For the bathrooms, I do like this shower. I think this was from Seasons, right? Because it's got that kind of glass factory looking frame around it. They say when you walk into a bathroom, you shouldn't directly look at the toilet. Or at least I saw someone say that once. So when you walk in, you might not see the toilet, but it's right there. And then over here, we can do a double sink. This mirror would probably get really annoying, wouldn't it? Because you'd see your face kind of all fragmented. <laughs> Put some nice big mirrors in. We'll grab this light from over here. Pop a towel rack in. And something lush and green right here. It's perfect. This is such a cool room. I feel like if this was your real life office, it would be quite an inspiring space to work in. So maybe we can turn this into a bit more of a creative space, a creative office. We can use this to divide the, the workspaces. Uh, maybe the sim over in this area could do some easel artwork. Let's pop in one of the nice quality easels over here. Oh, do we need to put a garage on the other side of the wall down here? You know where the master bedroom is? Should we do that? Like put one here? That would make sense. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Whoa, since when did we get this chair? Never ever have I used this chair before, but I really like it. Wow, that must have been in The Sims delivery, but I never noticed it. There's our little art corner and this can be a designer corner. They should have a rug in here, maybe just here. I feel like this should be darker. Oh, that's such a cool office. I really wish that was my office. <laughs> it is time to get James to have a look at the completed house. Hopefully he likes it. I think he will. Um, I think we've done a pretty good job. Let's just fix up these windows though. There's this glitch with the move objects on sheet. Yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. I love this wallpaper mismatched on the side. That's the coolest thing we did this build. 
Welcome, James. This is like, oh, let's do it like Dreamheim Decorator. Okay. Okay, you have to you have to guide me into the room, okay? Okay. So tell me where to go. This way. This way. Oh! oh! <laughs> okay, are you ready yes. to see your abandoned warehouse build converted into a beautiful home? Let's go! Let's oh, so go. it's going to be a house. Yeah, it's going to be a residential house. Mm. I'm really excited to show you. This is so much fun. Okay, close your eyes. Oh, I, I thought we just did that bit. <laughs> okay, open. Renovation. Renovation. Whoa. So as you can see, the roof's mm, been so patched a, up. A little bit of a gap at the back still, I see. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And look at the bricks where we filled in the walls. Oh, I got little patches. Nice. Yeah. Okay, I see. So cool. very nice. So like you've got the essence of the place. It's just been sort of patched up. Yeah, it's very much the same kind of Ooh, look. I, I really love this guy. Oh, that's such a cool idea, doing like a pool there. Yeah. I mean, in real life, that could be turned into a pool, maybe. Um, I love the garden area. That's really cool. Yeah. So everything's kept pretty much the same, but you'll see the additions of mm -hmm. some modern windows. Oh. Ah, that's like a little, yeah, that's so cool. A little and balcony. We kept the uneven walls. Um, and then there's been a little roof extension here, if you can Aww. see the change in roof. Oh, no, you don't like no, that. Kidding. Shall we go inside? We shall. Okay, this is the front. It's pretty much uh, the same. But we have a little letterbox. Whoa. <laughs> and you go in. Oh, that looks cool. And how cool is this? That's very cool. I really wish they would add recolorable I ceilings. Because it really ruins it. it would... It's not your fault, obviously, but, like, yeah, it really... It would be so much better. <laughs> that looks so cool, I love that. And then look, Batu. Oh, Batu, yeah! <laughs> and then, yeah, it's still pretty much the same floor plan. Like, it's all still very open. That's different. That cool oh, enough. yeah, so this is a toilet. That's just pretty simple. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, we'll get to that in that just a cool. second. I like, ah, oh, the old... Uh, Abandoned room. Yeah. So what's really cool about this room is that it looks into the kitchen. Oh, that's cool. And the other broken window got made into a bigger hole in the wall. That looks really cool. So I thought that was nice. Dang. And then the kitchen's very, uh-oh. Oops. Whoa, interesting choice to have their little roof exposed. Just to ignore that. <laughs> um, so yeah, very nice modern kitchen. <gasps> That Batu. That is Batu. Batu! Oh! Yeah. Go. Whoa. Okay. I like Batu. You like Batu? I'm glad you like Batu. Batu ain't that bad. Oh, is there supposed to be a ceiling on this place, or is it supposed to be like an open vibe? It's very open vibe. Oh, well, that's cool then, because I was just making sure. In here we have a bedroom. Oh. This is pretty uh, simple. Nothing stupid and crazy in here. Very nice. Elegant. Classy. I like to think I am. In here's the Wait, so bathroom. This is just an open ceiling bathroom? No. What do you mean no? If you look up, there's no ceiling. Not meant to be like that. Oh, well, you just said it was. Well, it is, but I forgot to put the ceiling on top. Like, it's meant to be open to a box on top. What do you mean? Like, there's meant to be a straight ceiling where the downlight is. Yeah, so it's not supposed to be open. Well, this bit's meant to be open. But there's a ceiling right there. Yeah, I forgot to delete it. I'll fix it before I upload oh, okay. it. I what? just didn't check it. Oh, that's why I was confused. I was like, I was too excited was. to show you. <laughs> so this walkway, you may remember, was kind of open. Mm -hmm. I do remember. So we turned it into a light passage. I think that column's supposed to be on the outside. Or the other one's supposed to be inside. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what it just automatically did. Again, we have an open, closed ceiling mm. situation here. So I do like that look when there are ceilings on the inner bits. It's cool, but, but you need you to clean? dust it. I was, I was just about to say, <laughs> how do you dust it? I don't know. I always, you know, when we watch Grand Designs. So they might put, like, if you look up, if you put, like, glass up to the ceiling there, so that was the actual roof in the room, uh, but it's still separate. Probably be so expensive in oh, real life. Well, this whole thing would probably be really expensive. True. Dang. That's cool. So I like that. This is nice. Art. Yeah, that wasn't originally there, but we put it there. Oh, that's but it goes with the house. Was this always green? Yeah, this building was green. I thought that was yellow. No, this building was always green window. Oh, uh, that's nice. Mm. I like that. So this is the master bedroom. They've got a nice door Ooh, outside. I like the door. Yeah. Dang. Um, and then they've got a nice little uh, ensuite in here. Very nice. 
Mm-hmm. Wait, which way does the toilet paper go? The r- wrong way. Uh... Yeah. I like how transparent <laughs> it is. So let's wander outside, shall we? Uh... To the lap pool. Now, this Ooh, area cool. right I like here. It sunken. Yeah, that was meant to be even further down, but oh. it wouldn't let me place any stairs. Oh, okay. Because originally we could still see into the sewer in a nice way. So I had to make it more shallow, unfortunately. Still looks cool, though. But it might flood if the pool went, like, over. Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, I see you kept we the kept telescope. That. We did. We almost got rid of choice. it. choice. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. I love it. I love the new window next to the old windows. Mm-hmm. Now, if we go upstairs, we kept all the yellow, which was quite Very a bold cool. move. Very bold. Very bold. Some might say too bold. Oh, would you say too bold? I would not, but some might. Whew. So <laughs> up here is just the library. It's still a library. Aww. You know, you've got just some nice little bits and bobs. We could have sealed some of this up to create more space, but it just would have, you so know, have ruined it. It wouldn't have been the same. And this is uh, the office. So it's closed in, otherwise it'd be too echoey. I don't think it is, though. Let me look up at it. Oh, I'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> All these rooms that are supposed to be closed in are like wide open. <laughs> I got too excited to show you. So this will be closed that's, in. That, yeah, that's cool. That'd be so cool to work in there. Yeah, so this is a little divider because this is one Sims area. And then this is the artsy Sims area. And they have all the exposed beams, the originals. Mm. Thought you'd like that. I do. I originally placed those. Yeah, a little balcony here, which is nice. It's a nice bar. It is a nice bar. Uh, and then through here, this is like a gardening space. Mm, cool. And if we go up the ladder, this is pretty much exactly the same. Um, just a little bit more green. So, yeah. Yay, that looks good. You like it? Yeah, it looks so good. So, yeah, that's um, that's the build. What do you think? Yeah, that's sick. Cool. So I proud. like it. I approve. Yay! Well, thanks for letting me um, recreate your build. You didn't recreate it, didn't you just renovate it? Thanks for letting me renovate <laughs> your build. <laughs> And I can't wait to bulldoze the next one. Oh, uh, uh, if anyone bulldozes my lots, you get blocked. Wow. That's not true. That's not true. How do you actually feel when people renovate your things? That'd be cool. That looks really cool. Awesome. If you renovate it, send it to me. I want to see it. Tweet them. Hope you have an awesome day. Wait, what is that your outro? And have an, an awesome, awesome day. day. Tag tag. This is the outro bit um, that's blurred. Do that. Yeah, but <laughs> You're like going down to my crotch. Oh! Yeah, don't do it. Cut that bit out. You'll see it in editing. You're like, mm? Mm? <laughs>